Did you got the first part about the king being angry? Hmm? <clears throat> so you understand the Lord is saying the kingdom is like the king who was happy, then he was angry, and then he destroyed the city of the people he invited to his son's wedding. Do you know the rest of the story? I'm going to skip something. Whatever he goes on, tells the people he's mad. He tells his servants, just go out into the street, go out into the crossroads and invite to the marriage feast whomever you shall find. Okay? serve whomever you shall find and his servants went out into the roads and gathered so you can kind of understand the, what happened the king got mad he destroyed them and then he told just go get anybody right so the people go out his servants go out people all around they gathered all whom they found both good and bad and the marriage feast was filled with guests now the king went in to see the guests and he saw there a man who had not on a wedding garment now it's time to use your minds Okay. Are you with me? Are you with me? <clears throat> We're here now, right? King has already destroyed the city because of this. Told the servant, just go out and gather people in. And now the king comes in. And he saw there a man who had not on a wedding garment. Think now. Think now, people. Nobody on, nobody had a wedding garment on. Oh, that's right. Nobody had a wedding garment on. You see... This is a parable from the Master. There are many, many levels. It's not to be understood in a literal, transliteral fashion. These are meditations of the Master, his teachings to his students, who weren't so good either. Yet is a great thing in Matthew where the Lord gets pissed off at the apostles. One time when they couldn't fix, cure someone, and they had to come to the master, and he goes, oh, how long, what's the matter with you kids? And he cures the sick person or whatever. But then he like, Was it this possessed boy? Oh yeah, this is Matthew 18, verse like 14 or whatever. And the Lord goes, well here's 18. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could not we cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith, for amen I say to you, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, remove from here, and it will remove. Yeah. The same way we can settle the wobble on the earth and all move the galaxy if we ever got this matrix veil off us. And nothing will be impossible to you. 
Okay, but here's the thing. So Christos has re has disciplined his. Oh, I skipped a part. And I brought him to thy disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered and said, O unbelieving and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Mrs. Christos talking to his people, saying, How long shall I put up with you? Read it. But here's the thing. Christos get on and say, well, you shouldn't know this, you shouldn't know this, you're facing this. But here at the end he goes, but I didn't tell you how to do this anyways. He goes, but this kind can be cast out only by prayer and fasting. See, this was a different type of demon that I guess he had an instruction that you had to do fasting with. But, you know, since Christos is Christos, he didn't have to do the fasting, but the ordinary people had to do the fasting. But that's 18. Did I finish? Go back. Oh, about the wedding garment. Let, let me finish it. You understand what the wedding garment, the king was mad, right, this and this, and he comes in, and he sees someone who's not in a wedding garment. But that's not true, you understand. Because everybody is not in a wedding garment. The people just came off the street. This is the heights you have to get into. He goes, Friend, did thou come in here without a wedding garment? But he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him forth into the darkness outside, where there will be a weeping and a gnashing of the teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So you can see, Christ is always using levels and levels and levels and levels because the spirit can't be held in a simple word or book. These books are nice and everything and holy and everything, but Christ, Christ, I don't mean, Christ is not about a book. Christ is about grace and spirit and truth in life. Yeah. So, good for people to wake up. Good for people to stop being silly in their minds and just saying everything about my chakra this or God is love or all these things. God is love. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get. Bless up everybody. <laughs>